Welcome to AQA Physical Education with me, Mr Fielding. I'm here today to give you as much information as possible about the course to make sure that you obviously pick PE because it's good for the mind and the soul and then also make sure that you do pick the correct course within PE because we do offer a couple of alternatives as well. Uh, the best thing to do is give you the information and the opinions of the students that currently study the course. Uh, so here we have Jake Flynn. Uh, I enjoy the mixture of practical and theory. There seems to be a myth that the whole course is in the classroom and you don't do any practical. We have a really good mix and we seem to learn more because of that. I enjoy having a deeper understanding of my body as it helps me in all aspects of my life. And when I'm physically well, I feel better mentally. To anybody thinking of taking it, just do it. Uh, then we move on to Nicole Nassif down here. Uh, PE is quite an interesting subject. You learn about your body movements and surprisingly apply it to your daily life. You learn everything there is to learn about exercise and effectiveness of certain types of training and so on. Not only does it involve learning about the physical body, but you also learn about mental health and how it can impact everything you do and how sports helps, to, to cope, helps you to cope with it. Luckily enough, you don't just sit in the classroom. You get to go out and experience everything you learn in the classroom yourself and you learn about new and different kinds of sports and you get a chance to play some of your favorite sports one of the best decisions i made was choosing pe as a subject so obviously the main questions that you guys are going to be asking is what is pe about so you might be looking at it from a career point of view like do you want to become a personal trainer or a coach are you thinking physiotherapy or pe teaching might be a career choice for you uh, but a lot of you might be thinking, I want the knowledge to keep fit and look after myself. Because uh, obviously when you think about the pressures of uh, the societies that we live in, uh, people are wanting more and more to, to make sure that they can take care of themselves as a whole. And in our course, you see the benefits that physical health has on the mental side of your life as well. Uh, you got the point there. Do you just find the human body fascinating and want to know more about how you work as a person? Uh, do you want to learn how to train smart, not just train harder, to get the best out of your body and not just pushing yourself to limits that are not really improving you as you'd want to be improved? Or do you just want to develop the knowledge to get better in the sport or activity that you take part in? If you take this course, you give yourself the opportunity to be your own coach and your own trainer to make sure you can get ahead of the game in any of the courses uh, or sports that you might play in your spare time. So what is PE about? PE involves analysing your own and others' performance, uh, which looking for ways it could be improved. The strong links between the mind and the body are explored when trying to find the recipe for optimal performance. And you'll see that we actually look at all different aspects of your life um, to see ways in which we can just get that little bit of improvement, which will make you a better overall person and an overall athlete. So what are the benefits again? Uh, the development of transferable skills, including the decision making, psychological understanding of people, independent thinking, problem solving and analytical skills, as well as thinking, acting and reacting under pressure. Um, I always say that sport is, is the thing that will help you find out the most about yourself. There'll be different situations where you'll have to act in the moment and you'll need to make sure that you take everything into account and make the correct decisions. So. If you want to understand how your mind works and how you respond physically to your mind, then this is definitely the course for you. Um, the benefits again, it's an interesting and challenging learning experience. Uh, in it, we introduce key sporting ideas and show how these interact with practical performance. You will gain insights into the relationships they have with each other throughout the course. Uh, the study of the GCSE opens up a range of possibilities for further study and also into careers associated with the subject. How will I be assessed? So these are the big questions that people um, normally ask when they're going to be picking uh, one of our courses. So you get a practical assessment which is worth up to 40% of your grade. So your physical ability is worth almost half of your overall grade which you'd be picking up at the end of year 11. Then we have your theory assessment, which is worth 60% of your overall grade, and that's split off into seven different units that we cover inside our theory lessons. But wherever possible, we make any theory lessons practical because that is the best way to learn is to do. So a bit more of a breakdown of the practical assessment there. Um, you will compete three different, complete three different physical activities in the role of player or performer. 
um, one in a team activity, one in an individual activity, and the third in either a team or in an individual activity. So to give an example there, we might have someone who picks maybe football for their team activity. We might have them pick table tennis as their individual activity. And then you'll have a third sport, which can range from anything from handball to badminton uh, to anything you can think of as long as it's on the specification list. Then we do have a piece of coursework which goes towards your practical assessment as well. And it's an analysis and an evaluation of performance to bring about improvement in one activity. You can use yourself for this or you can actually look at um, an athlete who might be a hero of yours. The theory assessment. So this is split into two papers which you will study through key stage four. Each paper is worth 30%. Paper one, the human body and movement in physical activity and sport. And you've got paper two, social cultural influences and well-being in physical activity. Breaking paper one down further, uh, and you can see there that the, the, three, the four units that will be part of this are applied anatomy and physiology, movement analysis, physical training and use of data. So anatomy and physiology, you'll be looking at the bones, the muscles, the joints, uh, the cardiovascular system, uh, the skeletal system, the respiratory system. And you'll be looking at each system within, inside, within the body that helps you become a better performer. Uh, and obviously you will get down into the scientific nature of this. And then you will look at different ways of analyzing this information through use of data to make sure that you can improve any athlete that you work with or improve yourself. Then you see the second unit there, we've got movement analysis, which looks at the biomechanics of movement. So that looks at how muscles generate force at different joints and how the, the certain levers at different joints generate certain amounts of power, uh, just purely based on the way that they, they are naturally made up in the body. Um, a really interesting unit, um, which will also look at the, the planes and axes of movement, which will then make, help you understand your own movement more, and then you'll be able to become more efficient in the way that you move, which means you'll have more energy uh, for, for, more, for, for longer in any of the games or sports that you play. Then physical training, which is the one that most people enjoy the most from this unit. Um, you can see it will be parts of the components of fitness. So what makes um, what makes you up as a performer? Is it power? Is it agility? Is it speed? Is it cardiovascular endurance? Is it strength? Uh, and then we have a look at them and see the best types of training that we can use, uh, whether it's weight training, circuit training, plyometric training, altitude training. And we have a look at all those different types of training to see how we can improve you the most uh, as an athlete. And then obviously, you will be assessed um, in year 11 um, on those four units for one hour, 15 minutes in a written exam, which is worth 78 marks. And this is 30% of your overall GCSE. Then we've got paper two, social cultural influences and well-being. So what is assessed there? Uh, my favorite unit in all of this is sports psychology, uh, how the mind works in these pressure situations and how you can use it to your advantage. So if you ask any of the current year 11s in the current um, GCSE class, um, I'm a bit of an old man, so I can't keep up with all these young people that can sprint up and down the pitch all day. But one skill that I do have is I know how to, to get into people's minds and cloud their judgment and provide too much information so that they make wrong decisions. So if you ever play a game of sport against me, which you will if you pick the course, uh, you will notice that um, I do a lot of talking on the pitch to, to try and force you into making poor decisions, but we'll look into things like that more in the course and how you can try and drown me out and how you can try and control the stress of, of being involved in, in a sporting activity. Then the second part there, we've got social cultural influences, which is a really, really interesting unit about why people play what they play. So you'll notice that a lot of people um, in from the same areas play the same sports and it all might be dependent on equipment it might dependent on expense it might be dependent on uh, which facilities are closest to your house but we look at all different things like that which will have an impact on you as a performer and then maybe what guides you into picking the certain types of sports that you're interested in then we've got the third unit there, health, fitness and well-being. And um, that is a really, really important unit, especially at the moment. Uh, but we look at the mental and social side of your life 
and how it has an impact on your overall physical health uh, but how physical activity can actually improve your mental health and social well-being in such drastic ways so we give you some tips and tools to make sure that you can look after yourself in that way uh, but overall you will see that the exercise is the key to any sort of happiness and success because the happiness has to come before success in order for you to be the best version of yourself so same again there it's assessed with one uh, one hour 15 minute exam uh, 78 marks in the second exam and that is 30 percent of your gcse as well so we like to make a promise to you um, when you pick one of our courses. So throughout the course, we, we will place the emphasis on introducing you to the key concepts within physical education. Throughout, we will ensure that we are re relating these concepts to performance while developing your knowledge, competence and confidence in a wide variety of skills that will enable you to confidently move forward in life. So to summarize that a little bit, what we're saying here is we will give you everything you need in terms of knowledge in terms of opportunity and um, as long as you commit to us in the way that we know that you can and you see on the bottom there the theoretical side of the course is com complemented by the practical element where you will get to put this newly learned theory into practice and improve and develop in your chosen activities that is something key for us is that wherever we can we make sure that we can get your learning in a practical setting because we feel that that is where you learn the best what can we expect from you? Um, if you pick this course, you need to be committed. You need to be committed to improving yourself physically, uh, to training independently, to making sure that you can keep on top of your physical fitness, to, to give yourself that best opportunity uh, for, for the top marks for that aspect of the course. But equally, you're going to have to be resilient. You're, you're going to be getting uh, unit results and sport results that might not be what you want them to be at the beginning of year 10 or in comparison to some of your classmates but you need to understand that the resilience you show will then lead you to understand that you are on your path you are not on everyone else's path and we will obviously do whatever we can uh, to support you on that but you must be aware that there are there's no such thing of just doing it once in PE you need to do it again, again and again. And you need to have the mindset of getting that extra one or two percent out of this lesson. That could be the difference between a grade six and a grade seven. The third point there, you must be willing to try new sports. I, I cannot stress enough. You are not picking GCSE football. You are picking GCSE PE. You are picking a range of sports, individual sports, different types of sports. And we have to look at all of them because you will be questioned on all of them in your theory papers. So you must be willing uh, to, to open up your mind to sports that you might not have really played before. Um, the fourth point there, that is a huge, huge one in PE. Everyone is at different levels in, in all the different sports that we play in PE. Reason being... Uh, you might have just been involved in something since you were very, very young and you have a uh, lot more experience in that and you are going to be a better performer. It does not mean that we judge anyone who's on a different part of their journey in any sport that we choose to play. So respect for the journey that anyone is on is key. And you'll find that as soon as you start to respect that journey, you're going to be happier for your classmates because you're going to see the progress that they make. If we have a happy environment, we are all going to be open and willing to make mistakes. And if you're in that kind of environment, that's the way you get better. If we're fearful of making mistakes, we stay where we are. And then finally there, we always, always ensure that we have a class of leaders. Anyone should be willing to put themselves forward at any point. Because like we've said before, uh, we think the best way to learn is to do. And if we need some people that are going to put themselves out of their comfort zone, then this is definitely the course for you. Key skills there, independent thinking, problem solving, analytical skills, teamwork, communication and leadership. They're all things that we've gone over in different points uh, over the course of this presentation. But the key thing is there, you see how they're all transferable. They transfer to decision making, psychological understanding of people, independent thinking problem solving, analytical skills, acting and reacting under pressure. These aren't just things that make you a better sports person. These are things that make you a better person. Career pathways. There's so many for you guys to pick from. 
Um, there's so many different angles which you can approach sport with nowadays. Um, and I've just been speaking to a student in the current GCSE class who's been looking um, at different university uh, courses to, to look along the roots of sports science uh, to make sure that they are there for the, the health care, uh, the health support of an athlete uh, in a little bit of a less sport specific way, but looking at um, the individual um, as, as an overall rather than just a robot that plays sport. So some amazing courses out there that are getting really, really specific. And there's so many different routes in which you can take it. it can be A level, uh, can be a T level, uh, can be a uh, go on to university. There's apprenticeships. There's pretty much everything you can want in terms of moving forward with sport in your life. To finish up on the, the frequently asked questions we've got here, what sports do we do? There's a full list of sports you can choose from at this link. Um, there's up to, I think the, the list has been in, increased to close to 30 now. Uh, and we will look at the cohort of students and pick from the list which is best suited. However, the most common sports that we tend to deliver in this school are football, handball, basketball, badminton, athletics, rock climbing and cycling. And I'd probably also add on table tennis to that list as well, depending on the class. Do we go on a trip? In the past, we have taken students off site to participate in rock climbing. However, due to COVID restrictions, this is unlikely to happen until restrictions change. We are looking into local opportunities to make sure we give you the best possible chance for success. So that's something that we're going to continually look at to make sure that we give you the best opportunities to get the best grades. Do I have to play in a sports team? It's not essential. However, I think it will be something that will be desirable. So if you play in a sport that is listed within the specification, you've got an opportunity to get video footage, which we can use to submit as part of your grade as well. So if you play in a team where you play well uh, and you do well outside of school, that is you pretty much doing homework. Because if you bring that video in, we will submit it to the exam board as part of your grade. Um, I play sport outside of school. Can I use this? Again, yes, as long as it's on the AQA specification list here. Uh, where to find any more information? We've got the link to the, um, the specification there on the AQA website. And then we've got more information with this PowerPoint uh, consolidated on the school website there. Um, I just want to say thank you for listening. If you've got any questions, you can ask any of the PE teachers. Uh, but we would love to have you down picking our course uh, because, again, even if you're not into sport, we're about making good people. Uh, so hopefully that will sway your choice. Any questions, just get in touch. Thank you.